Peter and Vicky Moffat should be very proud of themselves and Vallum Farm. It's absolutely perfect location to have all this in amongst this great Northumberland countryside. It's a really special day out for, for the industry where people can get together and network, but also really appreciate how good the industry is and how much better it's getting rapidly. I came today because this is important, you know, we've got to give the time back and we want to, want to be part of this, it's fantastic. The whole show of what I've seen has worked very, very well indeed and you've got all kinds of people come from all parts of the country, which is fantastic for the North East. Great event, great fun, um, very loose, which is nice, the, the variety of what's available, I guess people can get out and um, look at the shooting, look at the, the deer skinning, etc they probably don't get an opportunity to see this type of thing. It's great, yeah, it's fantastic, it's fantastic setup. I mean, it's a beautiful place, loads going on, loads to see and do. I'm very unfamiliar with this sort of setup and really, really impressed. Uh, it's very, very cool, it's very relaxed. Lots of education, every different level of chefs here uh, and some great people coming along to give time to this event and uh, I'm, I'm proud to be here and give my time to it as well. I would definitely recommend this event. I think more chefs should come because you're always going to learn something. The brilliant thing about UCFF is the people that come here actually want to be here. It's not like someone's told them to visit a trade show. They've gone out of their way to come here and see what's about. We've got uh, a lot out of today, meeting chefs from all over the country that we wouldn't normally get to meet. We've been involved for the last four years. That'll continue and uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just a great way to, to really get hands on with, uh, with the industry. We sponsored this event because it's just, it seems to be getting bigger and bigger every year, um, bigger and better. We're here because we love the old trade. We love the trade and it's everybody getting together with like minds. It's, it's good fun, it's, it's good entertainment, but it's also interesting. Everyone shares the, the same passion for food. You know, you can see it, everybody's excited, engaged. There's a lot of, you know, a, a real sort of kind of communal spirit. It's a proper festival. I would have absolutely no hesitation to recommend it to anybody that has any interest or passion or involved within the food service industry. Lots of people coming down to Fur and Feathers, We're learning a little bit about the countryside. So we've had the clay pigeon, which is all going in the background there. We've had basically some fantastic cooking on this side here, and also we've been breaking down carcasses of venison. So telling the story of from field all the way through to plate. It's a terrific event. It's dubbed the uh, Glastonbury for foodies, and it's uh, it's certainly that. There's a great selection of uh, suppliers here, uh, and it's been great for networking. I've done some clay pigeon shooting. I've had a bit of a farm tour. I've been, I've been eating all different types of food. I've eaten bugs. So yeah, it's been, it's been all around a really, really good day and just experienced so many things you wouldn't experience at normal exhibitions. So it's a great chance to meet, you know, the top suppliers, top chefs, and. It's just a great place to meet new people. Just having an event like this on the farm and having this much energy, this much going on, the venue just shone. And for us to see the site like that, that's, that's the most amazing feeling for us. For me, um, this has probably been the biggest hurdle to bring this up to the North East. But to me, it's probably to date been the most amazing food show I've ever been to. Everybody you speak to is so positive about this event. It grows year on year. Um, and this year was by far our biggest event in terms of exhibitors, in terms of delegates. This has just gone from strength to strength, it's got bigger and bigger. What we're looking at for next year is we're going to Laverstoke Park Farm, uh, Jodie Schechter's place, and we're going to base it quite a bit around sort of biodynamics and organic and a whole sort of different way and a different approach to rearing animals and growing produce. So that's one of the things that will be uh, different on the agenda uh, and there'll be a lot more to come, but uh, watch this space.